With just 113 days to go to the general elections, the rest for the country's presidency continues to receive an array of aspirants. A new wave of independent candidates, among them Faith Wairimo of the Manifest Sons of God Church and Jeremiah Nyaga, son to the late um, Joseph Nyaga, were the latest entrants. While the presidential race has been touted as a two-horse race, the independent candidates are calling on Kenyans to expand their options and um, give a chance to the new leadership. NTV's Sydney Chazima reports. With the race for the presidency shaping up with just close to four months to go, more aspirants are raring to have a shot at the coveted top seat in the country, the newest entrant into the foray being Apostle Faith Wairimu. With her slogan, I believe it is time for Kenya to transcend, Apostle Wairimu of the Manifest Sons of God Church declared she will be squaring for the presidency on an independent ticket. Her campaign manifesto has been centered on anchoring businesses and providing additional funds to the hell-blown kitty. We will continue to think about ways in which we can buffer our business people to ensure that our businesses do not close because of pandemics or because of harsh economic times. And thinking about our students in the university, we will work towards increasing the health loans that they receive to make sure that any Kenyan who qualifies to go to a Kenyan university does so. In angling to lure the diaspora vote, Apostle Wairimu's campaign has dangled a carrot, promising to create the 48th county for them. We will also create the 48th county where Kenyans in diaspora can vote not only for the presidents, but for members of parliament that represent the 48th county, which is the diaspora. In the same breath, Jeremiah Nyaga, the firstborn son to the late Joseph Nyaga, launched his presidential campaign yesterday, calling on Kenyans to widen their options for the presidency. He rallied behind a call to have a consolidated African economy that will serve the interests of Kenya and the continent as a whole. We cannot in any way hope to build a modern, and vibrant economy here in Kenya unless we are building it as a constituent part of a vibrant and modern African economy. Sydney Chazima, NTV.